Honda is not the only manufacturer looking to make a splash in the hotly contested Sport Compact segment. I'm at the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show and this is the all new 2017 Nissan Sentra Nismo. Let's take a first look. Ever since Nissan introduced this current Sentra back in 2013, it's been rather a sleepy model, especially for all you Nissan enthusiasts who remember the previous Sentras with the SR20 motor. Now you can see I'm standing by what Nissan is calling the hottest Sentra the company has offered in a long time. This is the all new 2017 Sentra Nismo. It takes a lot of performance goodies from the just introduced Nissan Sentra SR Turbo, including uh, that turbocharged engine underneath the hood. Now you can see looking at the front of the car, um, all Nismo versions will come with this red double winged front fascia is what Nissan calls it. And the car will only be offered in four colors, this white, black, silver, and a gray finish. It goes really nicely with the overall contrast. Now, if you're looking at the rest of the front, you can see um, Nissan updated the Sentra uh, last year. Um, all models will come with the, with the Xenon headlights with the LED daytime running lights. And the overall proportions of the car definitely look a lot wider. Now, the reason why the car looks a lot more aggressive is because Nissan actually lowered the ride height in relation to the old Sentra. It's about uh, a half inch lower versus the SR Turbo. So it gives this car a much more aggressive stance. So underneath the hood of the uh, Sentra Nismo, uh, you can see it has the same engine as the uh, SR Turbo. It's Nissan's 1.6 liter uh, direct injection uh, four cylinder engine. Uh, it makes the same horsepower, unfortunately, 188 horsepower, 177 pound feet of torque. Now that is, that is a really big healthy increase over the 130 horses that the standard Sentra offers, but I'm a little disappointed to see Nissan not putting any more power, especially since they offered a Juke Nismo a couple of years ago that had like 215 horsepower. Now, all Nismo Sentras are front wheel drive. You can take your pick between either a six-speed manual or a CVT that Nissan has also tuned for the Nismo model. Now, the company didn't have any performance figures for us, uh, no fuel economy figures for us, um, but it does look to be a very promising uh, pocket rocket. It's nice to see Nissan is coming back uh, into this uh, hotly contested segment. Now, compared to the regular Sentra, you can see looking around the side, the Nismo definitely has a much more lowered, planted, and more aggressive look. Um, all of them will come with these 18-inch uh, alloy wheels on 215.45. Uh, the Pilot, Sports, all seasons will be standard, while you can get a summer tire, a Bridgestone summer tire, if you guys want from the dealer as an, as an option. Uh, and you can really tell from the side just how much lower the Nissan did lower the car. Like I said, it's 0.5 inches lower, and it gives this car a pretty aggressive stance. I really like the proportions that Nissan has done to this particular Sentra, uh, you know, just kind of puffing it up, making it look a little bit more aggressive. Now, looking at the rear of the vehicle. You can see Nissan did also puff up the rear a little bit to make it more aggressive. The lip spoiler is nice and tasteful. You have this really low rear fascia with the same contrast um, in the uh, color that goes well with, you know, whatever color you guys decide to get this vehicle in. And then, of course, you have this really fat exhaust tip, which I'm sure Nissan has tuned uh, for Nismo applications, but I really won't know until we, we get into the uh, test drive uh, and see just how much sportier Nissan has made. I drove the SR Turbo a couple of, or uh, last month, and I wasn't too impressed with the handling, so Nissan says they firmed everything up for this uh, Nismo version to make it feel more like an SI, an ST, and a GTI competitor. So checking out the inside of the Sentra Nismo, you can see the seats are much more deeply bolstered versus the just the SR Turbo. Nismo specific seats, I really like the suede Alcantara with the red stitching and the red inserts. It's a very nice looking cabin. Now. Um, Stepping inside here, this is my first time actually sitting in the Nismo. The seats are pretty comfortable. I sat in the Civic SI uh, earlier today and they feel about the same as the SI. I really like the deeper bolsters. Uh, I'm really happy to see that Nissan's put a six-speed manual uh, as the standard transmission. Uh, regarding the transmission itself, the throws are a little long. They could be shorter. Uh, I imagine some of you may put a shorter sh throw shifter, but it's nice and fluid. It's smooth. The clutch feels a little bit on the heavier side. It does feel more sportier uh, versus the actual SR Turbo that I drove uh, last month. Now, Nissan also says they retuned the electric power steering, so it gives you less assist at lower speeds to give you more feel. I'll have to wait until I actually drive the Nismo to really confirm that, but looking at the rest of the interior, it's standard Sentra stuff here, which honestly, to me, is the most dated aspect of the car. You have a pretty small infotainment system. It doesn't have Android Auto or, or Apple CarPlay. The materials in here are okay. okay. It's soft touch on the dash, uh, and everything in here fits together nicely. It's really pretty simple. So those of you who are kind of turned away by all the modern interiors that some of the compacts are going to, you're gonna find this interior to be rather refreshing. You can see uh, the Nismo gets its own specific steering wheel, fatter bolstering, the suede Alcantara. I kind of wish it was a flat bottom. The gauges are a little bit different. Um, you have a Nismo specific gauge with a red line set around 6,500 um, RPM. So, I mean, overall, I think that Nissan has done as much as they could with this current chassis Sentra. I think it is time for a redesign, especially with the all new Civic that's coming out, the refreshed Mazda 3 and then the all new Cruise. But 
overall, uh, the interior in here is pleasant, just definitely not the best in class in terms of technology. So the Sentra Nismo will go on sale sometime next year with no official pricing yet announced, but I expect it to start under $25,000 for a base model and maybe top out around $30,000 depending on what options Nissan does make available to this car, which should compare nicely to comparable versions of a, a Focus ST, a Golf GTI, and the upcoming Honda Civic SI. For Redline Reviews at the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show, I'm Sophie on Bay.